Right, so today I've had a recall done at Cooper York BMW. It was regarding the heater motor wiring, I think. I don't think it's a resistor on these, maybe, maybe not. And they give it a health check. And they found a drop link on the rear. And also, when you switch the ignition on, you get an error for a bulb being out. Now I already knew about this, and they've mentioned it to me, and they say they've they've also checked, and none of the bulbs are out. Uh, none of the bulbs are LED, so that rules out those two causes. And they reckon that it's something to do with a module in the passenger footwell. Now on the quote list, they've quoted 143 pound for the drop link, which reasonable to be honest and 180 pound for the f it's called an frm module they didn't tell me that but the it's 180 pound that they've quoted for this module to be sorted so for this error to be sorted out now i've just spoke to my friend and apparently all it needs is some is, is a reset that can be done on diagnostic equipment the machine that he's got is an autologic so I'm going to try this now and then we'll know that we'll, that's probably what the £180 charge would have been for to plug it into a machine and have it reset because I can't imagine the module is going to be a lot more than £180 so I'm going to plug it into the autologic and see if we can do a reset on the module so I've got the autologic plugged in what we can find. But I didn't think there was any codes in it before, so we'll just see if there's a reset procedure that we can do. So we can go in the footwell module and on mine I have two codes. Possibly the causes, but I'll try clearing them. They've cleared out. I'll try switching the ignition off and on. We've still got the error coming up, but we've still got the short circuit reset we can try. I've got a different card. Clear that one. I'll try ignition again. We've still got it. So, because we've now got a code for the brake light, the upper brake light, I've gone into the component activations and we can activate the brake light, I've checked it and all of it's working, it's an LED one and none of the LEDs have gone either. Right, so I've just changed the brake light bulb, which was now faulty. Now, I know that probably seems like it, it was the problem in the first place, but it definitely wasn't, because I've checked all of the bulbs on this car prior to taking it to BMW today, and also BMW say that they checked all the lights today as well, which I do believe. So now... Let's see if we've got any fault codes this time. No faults this time. So let's try again. Oh, 
I think we've done it. So we've got rid of the mystery bulb problem. So what seems to have happened is all the bulbs were working and we had the bulb error message on the dash. We've erased two fault codes that we're relating to two other things. They've gone and not come back but then we've ended up with after doing the short circuit reset we've ended up with the code for the rear brake light which had now mysteriously stopped working. Changed the brake light bulb and now we don't have the error. So I don't know whether that means that the module has caused the bulb to go or something you know something has made the bulb go otherwise but that's what's happened for me and we've sorted it fortunately. Now I understand I'm very fortunate to have access to this Autologic because I have a very good friend but not everyone has a Jeff like me but here as you can tell this is exactly what BMW would have done they would have been plugging the, a machine in and this is basically what I've just done is what they would have charged 180 quid for so if you can get access if you've got a good garage like I have I'm very very fortunate if you can get access to a machine equivalent or the same as this you'll be able to sort this error out yourself without replacing the module so I hope this has helped and thanks for watching <laughs>